Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Insta Roxanne and this is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing Season 6, Episode 11 of Arrow. And it's called We Fall. So we start off with um, a guy's car gets TP'd and there's also people just going out throughout their day. People, a uh, nurse in the hospital and people in the elevator and stuff of that nature. So, um, but the tech messes up at seven o'clock sharp with lots amount of electrical issues and if you touch it you get electrocuted and you die and so Oliver and Will are training and uh <laughs> actually Will was really good with a toy bow and arrow it's just like you know training but not really and then um he goes off to school and then Diggle is all is full-on training at the um arrow cave and then we find out that um, Frank is dead. That's the police captain. So everyone's kind of distraught about that. And then Felicity's um, team, um, Felicity warns Curtis's team about what's happening and they appreciate it. And so uh, they, agree, they agree to ex exchange information on both sides. So if either one finds out something, they'll let the other team know. So they're trying to be more civil and trying to give open communication. And then we have Curtis's auntie spear goes off and it's because um, Vigilante is calling them out. And I'm sorry about this stuff going on in the background. Hang on just a second. There we go. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff happening on that TV. Anyway. <laughs> um, so anyway, so the police are going... Um, analog and that's this plan as well also to help with um safe zones and she's like basically coordinating the entire thing and then lance is kind of running the police department a little bit for the time being because of pike and then uh curses um uh, so curtis's team gets to um the area and vigilante talks to him and tells him about the subway tracks are going not going to work because of uh james and that he was hired to kill him so there that's happening and then and then we cut to and so chris doesn't really believe him but he still takes it into consideration and then oliver um talks to the senators about the guys whose um car got tp apparently he died as well so he's talking to them and then it's 10 o'clock came which he didn't really have one and that was kid and james coming to his office and he threatens him and saying basically I want $10 million to watch this account and that you killed my son one year ago today and then just kind of just storms off and then Felicity hits a roadblock because basically um, she finds out that when they went to the system to um, block Ken James it really left a virus that let them have the entire control of the city's grid and electrical work and so um, then Oliver is in, um, it turns out Oliver was in Hub City a year ago today and recruiting Dinah at the time so he can uh, possibly kill his uh, Katie and Jason's son. So they're trying to figure out um, the evidence that might have been falsified in court to Maltese that was sent to James to let him on to hear uh, to what he's doing and the path he's on. Then uh, Curtis gave Felicity info, and then Felicity saw Kate and James wants to block all the exits of the city because she knows when she pulled up the map that it, the entire circle is all cut off and no one can leave except for the tunnel. And that's the last one that's going, and that's where Will's bus is going towards out of town for the field trip. So um, he's good, and so we can jump to Will on the bus, and he's getting bullied by a bunch of people. And then the explosions go off, and um, Oliver and Dick automatically go there. And so, um, Curse's team is at the subway, and then Diana starts to with her voice. So, Will, then, then Will's continue to get bullied, then that's when the explosions go off. And so, he um, is helping people get out and helping people escape, but in the process, Will got cornered. And then Oliver and Diggle show up, and then Ollie rescues Will. So uh, Will's in the arrow cave now, and he's kind of pissed off, like very pissed off. 
And then, uh, then Curtis uh, tells the truth to his team about how he got the information. Because he originally called Felicity and Felicity told him where the uh, conjunction was. And that's how they got there. And then, um, <laughs> then so he tells the truth about how he got the information from Vigilante. And then Dinah and Renee get uh, mad, especially Dinah. She gets hella pissed. And so, uh, then we cut to where the safe zones are bust, which means, like, no one's really showing up to the, um, zones. And so, um, Oliver has an idea and tells Thea to call the media. Then Felicity found out that the evidence might be fake and, um, uh, came from Corte Maltese, so she put Elena, Elena on it. And then we have um, Oliver calls out Ken James on the TV, but uh, James predicted that, and he says it's on to the next phase. Then Chris's team talks, and then Vigilante sends a Morse code to Chris's team, so they go to um, the location that they said, and Oliver and Diggle also show up, because Chris let them know, so they came, and then bad guys show up, and so it's Oliver versus the bad guys, so while that's happening, Felicity talks to Will, and then the Vigilante had um, their back by help on um, saving Renee and killing one of the main people off of Kate and James' team, then disappears. And then um, we cut to later where Dinah talks to Vigilante and then Oliver talks to Will and now Will finally understands um, now about why, he ha why his dad needs to go on the team and why he needs to be fine with it. And then we uh, see that where Elena didn't find anything as far as a USB drive or anything like that. And then Oliver goes to City Hall and tells Thea to wire the money. And that's the episode. So this was a really good episode because there's lots of different dynamics happening and a lot of adjustments that are happening. And I feel like it works very well for the show. So I'll give this an A-plus episode because I really enjoyed it. Now, I have my own little theories, though. Um, they, Elena said that there was nothing traced on the Corto Montes cameras, but I feel like the Bratva guy, Anatoly, he the one that sent the fake evidence to him, to Ken James, and just to screw over Oliver. That's what I think that's what happened. And I feel like once that's going to be clear in the air. Maybe Kane James will have a change of heart and he'll turn on Anatoly and everyone else. I don't know how that's going to work out, but that's my little theory. But I do like the fight scenes and I do like how um, the def definitely the last fight scene where Felicity is talking to Will while his dad is doing all of the work. It's like he gets to see firsthand how he helps the city and what he does. And kind of understands why he does what he does. So I kind of like that whole thing where he's talking and, you know, I just like the vibe of this episode. I really liked it a lot. So um, I'm very excited to see what's going to happen next week. And if y'all have any suggestions for other TV shows or movies or music, please let me know in the comment section down below. And please like the video and then subscribe. And I'll see y'all in my next video. And sorry talking really loud, but people.